So let's begin by looking at uh, Proverbs 23 and 7 as the target of our experience. Proverbs 23 and 7 states, as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. Now, I'm going to stop there because many times when individuals quote that scripture, that's where they stop. It. So without any further context, what do you believe this text is communicating? Context reveals the circumstances, culture, events, relationships, and environment that helps form a text or scripture. This additional information allows the text uh, to be fully understood and assessed. In interpreting in context, it is referred to as a process that involves at least three steps. First, uh, studying the immediate context. Several scriptures preceding and following the text that should be studied. This is referred to as the immediate context. Second, studying the remote context. Usually this is two to three chapters around where the text occurred. And then number three is considering the concept, context excuse me, of the entire book where the uh, text is found. So if we're reading uh, John 16, 11, then we want to read the whole letter of John. And this is called contextualization or context process. It allows us to analyze, understand, gather, identify, and evaluate additional information. This allows us to create a new block of knowledge and understanding. So let's do an exercise again, uh, 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 just using step one on Proverbs 23 and 7. 